Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Valentine and this is the look we are creating today. Um, happy New Year's by the way. Right now it's currently New Year's Eve and by the time this goes up it's probably not gonna be New Year's Day but hey. I went for a nice angelic look, um, blue with a little bit of golden specks. I put a whole lot on my face as always because I love to overdo things. So, stay a while and watch me do my magic. Okay, to start off this look, we're going to be going into our elf poreless putty purveyor. So last time I used my milk, um, that, that milk primer. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot its name. Um, I don't have time to go to get it, but yeah. But this time I'm going to be using that, that one, the e.l.f. poreless putty primer, which looks like this. I've used it before on Christmas, so that's why it has little things, and I'm going to be using the back of this little spoolie to get out the material, you know? And I'm gonna just place it, like, on my face. Yeah. Um, I, I really liked how, how it came off on my skin. Uh, so yeah. Okay, hi, so on my face right now is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, and that's what I'm going to be using. Last time I used the Milk, the milk Primer, I don't remember what it's called, but yeah. Um, I think this primer is really good. Yeah. So continuing on, um, I think this primer is really good. This is what it looks like. It's like a little twisty cap type thing. Um, and yeah, I've been using the back end of my spoolie to kind of get the primer out. And I just place it on the spot where I ate and need it. Okay, and now that we're all done with that, um, I'm going to be moving on to foundation. So I'm going to be using um, the NARS Natural Radiant, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in Cadiz. Yeah, Cadiz. Um, yeah, and I will be applying that with my Real Techniques bench. So, here we go. Also, I'm not going to be doing the um, powder before um, before foundation because I feel like um, this. I just feel like this um, primer kind of kind of just. Okay, so I put the foundation on the back of my hand and I'm going to take this sponge that I have put under water to get damp and I'm going to put it over here. Okay, so now that we're all done with that, I'm going to be taking this NYX Professional Makeup for Bench and I'm going to be buffing out everything that is on my face so you know it's like more evenly distributed, better blended and everything. So here we go. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> um, so now that we finished that, oh, so sorry if you can hear crying. That's my nephew. He's a baby. Um, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution London Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour. You know, concealer. <laughs> Here we go, right up there. Got it from Ulta. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to be putting little dots under my eye to you know, conceal that area <laughs> and putting some those okay, and then we're going in with the Real Techniques sponge again to blend it. <laughs> Okay, and I'm uh, using that same NYX Professional Makeup like brush, I think. I forgot what kind of brush this is, but I'm gonna buff out everything that I just used just now. Now, you're probably wondering, like, why do you look so tired? And in fact, you're probably not wondering that at all, but I'm just gonna say it anyways. I'm exhausted because I haven't been getting enough sleep. But whose fault is that? A mine, actually. I, I'm terrible at having a consistent sleeping schedule, but you'll love me for it. Um, okay, so anyways, now we powder. Okay, now I'm going to be using this pretty old CoverGirl brush, and I'm going to be taking my Elf Halo Glow Setting Powder and, you know, setting my feet. <laughs> Okay, so now that we're done with that, I'm going to, you know, um, touch up with with this to buff it out, and then I'm going to put blush on. Okay, so now we're ready for blush. I think I got, like, my foundation when I was in, like, you know, when it was, like, spring or something, so it feels, it feels like it's, like, kind of light, but yeah. Um, continuing on, I'm going to be taking this Milani blush in Coral Cove. I'm going to be putting that on my face. Wait. <laughs> Before I do that, let me put on my NYX Sweet Cheeks little like cheek tint so that it'll be more vibrant. Anyway, it is Anne. Almost famous! Me. <laughs> so I'm going to be taking this and putting it on my face in little dots. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm going to be using the Real Techniques um, blending sponge and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna blend it out. So now that we've got that, I'm going to be using this, I think it's like goat's fur brush or whatever. And I'm gonna be taking the Milani Coral Cove blush and putting that on my cheeks. I know this is a more like an orange, but I just wanted like a nice base to kind of like bring out that a more old, old type color.
Okay, now I'm going to be taking this elf black, elf brush, and I'm going to be blending everything out, you know. Okay. Um, and now I'm going to be taking... <laughs> I'm going to be taking the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And I'm going to be putting that on my eyes for the primer. So like, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so here's the eye pencil, and I'm just going to be taking it and putting it on my eyelid. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm going to blend that out with my finger. <laughs> okay, so from here I'm going to be cording only me doing one side, this side specifically because it's my best side. So yeah, <laughs> stay tuned and the rest will be done, and I will be the, the New Year's angel. Hi, okay, so I just realized that um, doing my makeup on one side isn't going to work, because look at this, I was supposed to do it on this side only, and then I started doing it on this side. I get, I get too carried away, but yeah, so I'm going to explain everything that I just did on camera, <laughs> so that you all know doing and then I'll go over this side instead so then you guys can kind of catch up but anyways um so I put on the dewy elf dewy setting mist this one has like a coconut smell <laughs> I put that all over my face so I'm you know can be like shiny and stuff and then I went in with Maybelline New York lemonade craze right and that's like the main base I went in with Sunny's which is this color right here um yeah and that's like the main like base of my lid right now and then I took the sugar pill capsule collection the pink one right um and I used baby doll so it's this color right here and that one's on both the under eye and over here and I started to darken it up with the Sugar Pill Mini Color Palette and I used 8-Bit. So I'm currently taking 8-Bit and like putting it like around my brow bone and stuff. We're gonna see how that kind of turns out. But yeah, that's what I did. I started off by using my BRB SO2 brush from Coastal Scents. Um, I use that both to apply Sunny's and, um, I think it's big, yeah, Baby Doll, so yeah. Um, and then to kind of like get it on easier, I started using my shadow brush from the unbranded, um, eyeshadow eye, eye brush collection. And yeah, so, so that's what, what happened, and I'm also using this for, for 8-Bit to put on my face. So yeah, <laughs> so that's what happened. So let's let's continue on since I kind of can't control myself. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just trying to get this to, you know, blend. And I'm probably going to take my e.l.f. blending brush to, to help with that, yeah. Since we are, um, kind of inspired by something you want to, you know. Get a little fun with it. So yeah, we're gonna take this e.l.f. blending brush and then take a little bit of 8-bit and use it to, to blend this through. 
And I'm also noticing that um, baby doll is starting to rub off because of this. So I'm gonna go back in with the e.l.f. blending brush and take the doll again and you know put it in, in certain areas so that it kind of blends together with it. We aren't satisfied. <laughs> so we're gonna take a bit again. You know, everything's about getting things to be how you want it. I'm just gonna show on the other eye at this point. We whatever. <laughs> so using my BRDSO2 Coastal Sense brush, um, I'm going to take the Maybelline New York Lemonade Craze in Sunnies, and I'm gonna be putting that on in the middle of my eye, you know, like this. I'm not putting on that much because um, I already did it. <laughs> then I'm going to be taking, I know I had already like, because this is a little blue, because I already used Baby Doll from the Sugar Pill Capsule Collection. This is the pink one, by the way. Um, but yeah, um, since what I'm doing kind of, that, that kind of like does not help with what I'm doing, I'm going to be using this unbranded shadow brush that was probably gotten from Ross, and I'm going to be taking a big doll. And I'm going to be putting this, like, you know, over it, because I just, it's already there, to be honest. So, you know. Now we're going to be taking the Sugar Pill Mini Color Palette and 8 bit this color right here. And um, I'm going to be putting, like, you know, towards the brow bone. That's not everything for the eye. I'm going to be adding shimmers and stuff. So just hold your horses, but um, yeah. Okay, so um, as you can see, I kind of almost got carried away. <laughs> but um, yeah, I 
finished like the base of this side and now I'm going to move on to this side. So, so here's the whole thing. Um, I used the Pat McGrath Mothership Celestial <laughs> and right now I'm digging into, hold on, I think it's, I think it's, it's not. It might be galactic gold. I can't really tell because if you look at the back, some of these names don't seem like they fit the colors. But yeah, anyways. Um, oh wait, no, 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 we're going up. So I think it might be lunar champagne. Yeah. So, so this one, I can't tell if you guys can see this, but this one right here. And we're gonna take this. I mean, it kind of looks like a champagne type color. And we're gonna put it on the inner corner. So I'm using the provided mirror. <laughs> That's loud. Um, but we're gonna be taking the unbranded eyeshadow brush, right? And I'm gonna be dipping into several colors actually. But the ones I was dipping into was I think I don't think that's gonna work. It might be galactic gold. And <laughs> Venetian orchid, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm using this because it's flatter, and um, I feel like it might like help a bit. So yeah, we're just gonna dive in. So I really want this to be like something that you can see when I put it on the eyes. Um, 
that's how I finished that. Oh, I just remembered. Off the camera, I also covered my eyebrows in concealer and then you know, used my spoolie, the same spoolie that I used for the primer. And I put that on my eyebrows. And now I'm going to brush it in because I like, kind of left it there to let it dry down a bit. And I'm just gonna like let it spread through. My chair has wheels on it, so don't mind me like moving around a lot. There we go. I think this is this is this is decent, you know. <laughs> um I feel like I wanna add more stuff to this, so we'll be back because I'm gonna go get other things. Okay, so I've done like most of the stuff on the left side, so now I'm going to, you know, complete it. So what I'm going to do is take this Sephora color shadow and liner, and I'm going to put it on my waterline. Right here. I'm like, you know, <laughs> but yeah, um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this non-branded angled shadow brush that was probably from Ross, and we're going to use that same thing, and we're going to dip it in, and then, you see here how I have, like, this like sculpted out through like my eyeshadow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right above that. And then, yeah, just like right above it. And then create a similar line. I normally let my eyeliner go like towards my eyebrow, but yeah, so, so this is, just look in, then, you know, you're going to want to connect that to your eyelid, so do that. <laughs> extremely hard to connect it the way that I want it to be but here is the, the finished look because it's really hard to just like put on. I'm, I'm getting tired of trying. And yeah and so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the NYX Epic Wear Eyeliner which is waterproof. Oh it's eye and body liquid liner. And this is this is white I don't know if it has like a color thing. It does. It's just white. Yeah. <laughs> and so we're going to take this. I um, like to rub off some of the excess before I take it onto my eye and then I'm going to, you know, start putting it right below. And there we go with, with the the eyeliner and stuff. Pretty cool, right? And then next, I'm going to take my Morial Paris Voluminous Face Mascara Primer and I'm going to take it both up at the top and down at the bottom. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this ColourPop Voluminizing Mascara in Little White Lie and put that on the 
bottom lashes only. We're gonna let that dry for a little bit. Yeah. So next, we're gonna take um, this Too Faced Damn Girl mascara, and we're gonna put that on the top part of our lashes. Okay, now we're gonna take our eyelash curler, just any, like it doesn't need a brand name or anything, and then we're gonna curl the lashes. Okay, um, so I have a white dot on my lash because of my bottom lash is like these are things you just live with, you know? Um, so anyways, we're gonna go and see the eyebrows, right? Because I finished literally everything else. So I've been using this Morphe E11 brush. For the brows. Now, the one that I normally use, I, I used for um, the eyeliner which I didn't think about until, you know, I noticed that that was the one that I use for my eyebrows typically. But you know, um, we, we adapt. So I'm gonna take from the Jackie Ina Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, Supreme, <laughs> the pink. I don't use that to, to make my eyebrows pink. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to take the Sugar Pill Mini Color Palette. And then we're gonna take game over the orangish red color, and we're gonna take that on our Morphe E11, and then we're going to brush over the end to make it kind of um, red. It's so soft, it's like, 
No, if I if I did what I was originally going to do, then I would look at the phone. I think which is always kind of taken on this. Who doesn't want to look evil? You looking evil is sexy. Anyways. Okay, so um, next we're going in with highlight. So I'm taking this Pixie by Petra um, Glowy Gossamer Duo in Delicate Dew. I've never seen the Delicate Dew part, so yeah. And then I'm just gonna like, you know, align it with my ear. So here's where my ear is, and I'm just trying to like get it like there. Take it, also put it on my oral bone. Okay, next what you're gonna wanna do is take your buffing brush. Oh wait, not that one, that one's my foundation one. Take your buffing brush, this one had my blush on it, and then you're gonna buff it all out. Um, I'm gonna go in more with this. Connect my brow to the eyeshadow just so that it feels a little more complete to me. Oh, oh, oh. just to like be all like fun and stuff and like you know have like a creative little look and I feel like this was probably the most useless thing I did but it was fun I like the little white dots okay so anyways I'm just gonna add them and now it's on the other side too oh my god thank god okay so for Lipstick. I'm going to be using the matte NYX matte lipstick in Mason. I think I stole this from my sister. Anyways, we're just gonna put that baby on. Okay. Along with that, I'm going to be putting on. Fenty Gloss Balm Fenty Glow. Just to, you know, add some shine. <gasps> um. <laughs> 
Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. Okay, so here we have the LP settings. I'm gonna, you know, put it on. After that, I'm gonna put on the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray Long Lasting right here. It's a little sample bottle. It worked for me though. Anyways, um, this stuff isn't dry, so I'm gonna have to <laughs> cut this off, let it dry, and then start again. Anyways, stay tuned. Or, I don't know, put it, I'm, I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it. Probably gonna do it. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to take my Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Setting Spray and I'm gonna spray it all over my face. Because this has to last until midnight. So, yeah. Anyways. And, and there we go. We're done with setting sprays. <laughs> A long process. Oh my god. Now I'm gonna put on my weight. Okay, and here is the finished look. I combed out my wigs, so yeah. But I'm kind of in love with this. Um, the brown with the lip gloss is such a good touch, really, to be honest. My nephew just woke up. But yeah, um, thank you so much for joining me here. Um, I had so much fun. Thank you for everything. Um, I'd like to thank all of my friends who supported me and gave me suggestions because that helped me so much. And I'd like to thank, um, you know, all all the people who support me, and all the people who follow me, and all the people who subscribe to me, thank you so much. Anyway, bye bye happy New Year's, and have a great 2021. It's going to be a blast. Um, I don't know if I'm going to post this on New Year's Day. Like, I don't know if I'm going to post this on January 1st. But hey, uh, I'm going to post it whenever I post it, and when you see it, you see it. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching my video. Um, stay light, stay warm, stay loved. I love you. Goodbye.